guys going to prom? No. Everyone has oh, secrets. I got asked. You did? The kind you're bursting to share with people. Sure. And the kind you can't hide That's deep so enough. Cool. Are you guys coming over to chill? Yeah, I'm down. I can. I'm supposed to help my mom with my sisters so she can get some sleep. OK, well, if you want to hang out, you know where to find us. Thanks, guys. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. I don't think my friends would understand. So I keep my secrets to myself. We've been making do since Dad left. Mom fights to keep her chin above water, working three jobs, raising three daughters. But no one can swim forever. are driving me crazy and I haven't had a second to myself. I need to go lay my head down. Would you mind watching them for a bit? Yeah, sure. What's the problem? Nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing. Mom, please. Oh, God forbid you help out your pregnant mother for a couple of hours on your Friday night. No, Mom, I said I would help you. I don't need your help. Not if it's gonna be a problem. I love my mom. I know how hard this has to be on her. But I didn't ask for this. OK, fine. I guess we all have our limits. <laughs> Big secrets don't stay secret forever. They grow. And then they get too big to carry by yourself. Hi, girls. How was school? It was good. Just happy it's Friday. There are no secrets between Melody and her mom. The way they talk, you might think they were sisters. All right, so what are you guys going to do? My mom and I don't talk much, so I keep my secrets to myself. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Have fun. But this is one secret that isn't going away. It's been with me for four months. Even my best friends have no idea. What are you doing tonight? Probably going to sleep or something. Why would you sleep on a Friday? You're a teenager. You're supposed to go out. I can't expect them to have answers for me. I guess some things are meant to be carried alone. You want me to say that you can run from this problem, but you can't. Yeah, so I'm not babysitting anymore tonight. Okay. It's hard feeling so alone, even when you're right next to your best friends. I, I just wish that there was someone who could understand. I was scared and alone. Aw, this commercial gets to me every time. Life forever. Safe haven for newborns gave my baby and me help. Do either of you guys know what a safe haven for newborns is? Like, I have an idea, but is it an orphanage or something? Uh, I know something about it. Oh, yeah? Like, what? Safe haven for newborns is a program that helps women with unexpected pregnancies. From what I know, they're an alternative that would save a newborn baby from abandonment and place them in amazing homes. How do you know all of this? I never told you guys this, but I'm adopted. My mom was 17 when she had me, and there was no way she was able to take care of me. So she decided to seek help, and she found this program called a safe haven for newborns. And yeah, I thank her every day for it, to be honest. Melody, I never realized. No, 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 it's OK. Like, it's OK. I'm not bashing my birth mom or my life. Like, I'm happy she did that. That's incredible. Where do you find places that are partnered with them? You can find a couple places partnered with them. The hospital emergency rooms, the fire rescue stations, or an emergency medical service station. That sounds amazing. It is. So. This could be the option I've been looking for. 
I felt so scared and alone since I found out about my pregnancy. I felt like there was no one I could turn to. But this gives me hope. Sometimes the smallest step in the right direction is the biggest step of your life. Melody's story gave me the courage to look for answers to my own questions. Excuse me? Hello? Oh, hey, miss. How can I help you? I have a couple questions for a friend. Sure, come on in. Is this fire station associated with a safe haven for newborns? Why, yes, it is. And um, how would someone give you a newborn? Well, first of all, the baby would have to be unharmed, seven days old or less, and your friend would just have to leave the baby with one of us. Will my friend get in any trouble? <laughs> no, ma'am, of course not. Like I said before, the baby would have to be unharmed and seven days old or less, and that's it. Um, one last question. Sure. If you were my friend, what would you do? Well, if I was your friend and I wasn't in a situation where I had to take care of a baby. I'd be relieved that there was a program like a safe haven for newborns. Okay, thank you. Hey, listen, tell your friend not to panic. Everything's gonna be fine. I have to imagine that there were times when my mother wanted to run. When she feared she wouldn't make it. When she wanted to give up. But she never did. She was there for us. Now it's my turn to be there for her. To ask the questions she's afraid to ask herself. And to find answers for her too. Emily? Emily, wake up. I need to talk to you. Well, honey, I saw this website on your laptop. Is there anything you want to tell me? Because you know that if you're pregnant, you can always talk to me. No, no, I'm not. I'm not pregnant. But I, I did want to talk to you. Today I found out that Melody was adopted. Oh? Wow. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she was adopted by her amazing family thanks to this program called the Safe Haven for Newborns. She was telling me about it. And you know I love our family, and I, I only want what's best. But with Dad gone, and you being the sole protector and provider for me and my sisters, I, I think this may be something to look into. Emily, how do I know that my baby would be going to a good home? How do I know he'd be safe? Melody told me all about it. They would contact a licensed child placing adoption agency and the baby could be adopted by parents who are already approved and are waiting to adopt a child. Honey, what kind of mother would I be to give up my child? You would be the kind of mother who wanted a better life for her child and for the children she already has. Oh, I am. I'll put in a call. It, uh, it could be an option for us. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. When we choose not to move, our fears become decisions that are made for us. Please, take care of her. We will. Not to worry, all right? You're making the best decision for you and your baby. But when we choose to be courageous enough to ask for help. Thank you for everything. Even the most impossible decisions become possible. For months, I've tried to imagine a future for my child. Now I finally see it. A safe and happy home, a glowing afternoon under a warm summer sun, and the unconditional love of a mother who can't be me. And I know I'm making the right decision because my child will be safe. Everyone has secrets. Sometimes those secrets are situations that grow out of your control. Whether it's happening to you or to someone you love, there's always the search for an answer. For us, a safe haven for newborns was that answer.